Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen 2. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man run. I had a good night rest and slept over the um, supply raid here and came to the conclusion that I think I want to abort it. Not because I don't want to do um, the supply run, but because we're not having the necessary um, defensive items yet. I remember that the 0% infiltration supply runs were just horrible. Uh, they were really, really difficult. Like we're talking 40 enemies and they are camping your spawn from the get-go. So there is only so much I can do with uh, proper uh, with proper playing. And some of the cases I simply can't prevent the enemy from hitting us. And if we only have four hit points, that's not going to work out well. Instead, what we're going to do is uh, we do have our scientists still assigned here. So I would want to farm normal missions and uh, try to get at least another scientist um, Perfect. Maximum power consumption reached. Okay, so we're at 103 supplies, which is good. Which means uh, with just a few more supplies, we might be able to even start uh, building up um, the the uh, power center to increase the Av Avengers power and finally upgrade the laboratory. Let's see what we can sell. I think we're fine. This is enough to build. And since we don't have an exposed power coil, might as well build it straight up. Good, 10 more days and then we will have that building up. Next up in our build order is the training center. Good, time to start uh, farming for missions. And there we go, the first mission already appears, six days. See, a smash and grab mission. That's also giving us um, sufficient, uh, sufficient supplies. Certainly not the corpses, which is a bit unfortunate, but we can do it. Let me fix the team and we give it a go. Good, we fixed up the team. So we're going to almost fully infiltrate it and then give it a go. Six men, um, a six man mission to grab some intel plus at uh, some supplies plus we're getting a fair share of um, kills. 12 enemies there should, should be very much doable. Let's continue to scan here. Interesting. Eight days. Operation Brooding Skies. Resistance contacts plus one. But we need to capture the VIP. Which would give us an option to further expand. It is part of the liberation chain and we are getting intel. So it's pretty much a no-brainer that we're going to do this mission. Let me fix the SWAT real quick. Okay, perfect. Just brought it uh, over a hundred and we will be able to fit in an entire squad of two, four, six, seven people. Let's get on with the infiltration.
It's actually going to be an important mission for us. Two days, five hours. I like the idea of an engineer and intel, but that's way too short. Not even going to bother. And yet another mission, two days, 11 hours. That would be the start for the Liberation plus Intel, but we're not going to do anything that has a two days uh, timer. It's just not going to work out. Got a recruit here in South Africa. Good, so they con can continue recruiting even further. Gosh, so many things are happening. I wanted to relatively quick get into a mission. And now we're already in the middle of um, base management. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. I had high hopes for the resistance. We still have, uh, we still have at least one, um, if not multiple spies within our organization. We uh, lost a lot of supplies. I hope we can counter this one here because that's not going to be fun. Completely immunity to everything. No swarm can may occur in any mission, okay. Hundred and thirty eight supplies. Um, yes, please. Avenger that is a ton of money. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. And we just got the combat armor. That one is really good. Might as well do the data pet decryption super quick. After we're done with that, I was thinking... That we might... We, we could start with magnetic weapons. It's not completely unheard of to go for the next weapon tier. Training someone else to pilot the Avenger. I'm never going to get any work done if Mr. Bradford can't keep the ship steady. Okay, let's finish this one here. The supply drop. And how about we're purchasing another scientist from it? Okay, so that's 25 Intel right there. I mean, this here would give us alloys. Magnetic weapon would require supplies as well. Let's go on with experimental weapons real quick because there are a couple of good ones. 
as soon as the research is complete. Good, that's 140 supplies. We could get a training center for it. Oh wow, 156 supplies. Hmm. Research currently is not critical. We're getting another engineer via the covered ops mission. Might as well get the scientist. 10 more supplies and we could go for uh, the training center, which I think will give us a bigger benefit for now. But we need a power relay for it first. Of course, we can also build power armor, a powered armor, which costs 30 a pop. So, this here is also not bad. Getting Intel and Intel package, might as well do that. Let me fix the team real quick. All right, done. The team looks a little bit like a set of leftovers. And yeah, we should be fine with it. It's kind of an interesting combination to our Grenadier, um, a Gunner, and really a couple of classes that we have had left over. I think it shows that we need to train more uh, specialists. They were lacking. Good. And this mission now needs to be launched. Uh, since it has taken such a long time to just watch through that, I'll make a cut here, but I will. I know what, it's only 12 minutes in. Let's go. Let's go. It's our prime team. Here we go. I was about to say I will um, cut the mission and do and and start uh, with the actual mission gameplay. But so what? People will find it. People will find the beginning of the fighting scene, and if not, we're going to link it down in the time uh, a timestamp down in the comments below. So, we are at a smash and grab mission now, guys. And it's yet another mission with loss, and one with a gigantically large map. Luckily, we weren't starting concealed. Which means we can simply go in. It's a bit of a different team this uh, uh, this time. I'm all over it. Many of the, the primary team are within uh, this group, I'll lead the way. but we have no grenadier this time. Instead, we're having um, Dark Tower Noxus here, who, as a technician, is going to support us. The classes are a little bit interchangeable. They do have different nuances. But you can essentially, as long as you do have a somewhat balanced uh, team, you can actually pull it off with any sort of combination. That's why I mix and match and, um, and really use whoever is currently available. OK, 
Okay, wow, that's far. The first supply crate is here. I might want to use this balcony. Moving closer, the main idea now is to not trigger anything. Pretty sure as soon as we're triggering something, we're going to have problems finding the crates again. This here is a gigantic map. I like the harbor, but it's probably not a good map for, for a smash and grab pickup. Okay, let's overwatch. So that sounds as if someone would be down here in the alleyway. Might be a drone. Edgar Allan Poe begins to move out. Sees nothing. That is good. That's a good sign. Move it on target location. Our sniper heater is moving out. Sees nothing as well. Even a better sign. Zirke moves out. Everyone else just holds a little bit back. I'm trusting you here. Scanning. I'm on it. Come get some. Affirmative. Covering now. My watch begins. Hey, okay, so they are probably with in this um, complex here. Thought they would be closer, but they aren't. Probably right down there. Good, so far we haven't even triggered anything. The map is large and it's seven to nine enemies. So as always, chances are not very high to even see someone. Trying to keep them relatively close together. Yeah, that sound uh, sounds like an advent captain. We just need to get a good read on him. Okay, so let's get into a proper position here. On your order. What's over there? Heading Lost Swarm is getting close, but I'm not really afraid about that. What's over that? Got it covered. Got it covered. 
Just checking, do we have crates over here? No. We got one here. And for pretty far distance, it seems to be the only crate. There we go, a lost swarm appears. I don't know if this is going to start the timer. We most certainly need to deal with them. Okay, at least we got all the first, uh, the couple of first kills already in. So far, no timer has been started. Start with Zirkim. I um, advantage is really good. Kill confirmed. Okay, let's clean up most of the loss. Can't really move. It seems that the loss have not yet triggered the um, timer, so I am proposing to simply stand here for now. I just saw that there had been crates here. Okay, so that's crate number two and three that we have discovered. We're moving up here. I think overall we have killed every single one of them, but there's still an advent uh, pack somewhere out there. Gotta move careful. I normally don't want to be caught out in the open, but I also don't want to be hit by a loss. Moving to here. Okay, I'll 
Good. Overwatch. Overwatch. Probably should have killed one of them with our melee attack just to get the focus up. He's still at zero focus. That's a, that was a mistake. Okay, let's move up. Still want to get the uh, the crate there. Pretty sure there are crates. That these crates are also soon going to disappear as soon as the timer starts. Moving to position. Is it clear? Okay, we're taking solid cover here. At the same time, Zirkim takes some good aiming angles up here. And we can already see the first pack was standing right next to the truck. Good to know. We don't want to trigger them. Solid copy. Reload. We're getting them next round. Moving to Overwatch. Come get some. Come get some. I'll maintain my watch. So, if I'm not mistaken, the pack was uh, normal mech plus one there we go it's a nice little overwatch trap come on let's trigger them We might pull more than one pack here. This is triggering both of the overwatches and we might trigger something just behind them. Good. This is most likely going to trigger something. I strike for my people. The forces of the occupation. Good. We could always move back. Let's see what the sniper can or cannot see. Trooper and Rocketeer. We're going for the Rocketeer. Yeah, I didn't get it. So the mech is a real problem. Let's see how we are going to solve that. We can shut it down for one turn. It's almost all we need. 50-50 to shut it down. I think that's fair.
Good. With that shut down, there is a higher chance that we can keep here in parry mode and don't need to move back. Zirke moves up. Let's kill the trooper. There we go. Good, we're going to parry, and whilst we're here, might as well just mark the, the crate. We're picking up a steady signal from the transponder. Firebrand is en route to make the pickup. We're ready to go. Good. So far we have obliterated the first pack, and the second, uh, and the second one is half dead as well. So, in terms of sniper, he can't see anyone, which is not good. Let's position ourselves here. Let's mark the supplies. Let's already um, plan for the evac. And we are going a little bit closer. This should actually kill the uh, mech. Good, now that that is dealt with, we do have an, theoretically an overwatch and an aid protocol. And the latter one is the more important one because we are not only going for this crate here. I also want to see where, where that Advent uh, Grenadier went to. Hmm. Very interesting. Seem to have disappeared, but that's fine. We're just marking crates in the meantime. And let's get the sniper to our front line. Our Noxus moves up. So does Zirkim. And last but not least, Edgar Allan Poe takes position over here. Almost everyone moved or double moved. So we don't have that many overwatches uh, left over. But I feel that the guy who was just leaving simply reunited with his SWAT. And that's why he just ran away. Another round of losts. Perfect. Oh, 
All right, we have the loss much better under control now with all of our shots. Let's start cleaning up a little bit. Zirkim hits on un unreasonably well, so we're continuing to use him to clean them up. Can't really get that pack yet. We have to be a little bit careful not to move in too deep. All right, Edgar Alien moves over here. By the way, no chests over here, okay. Target neutralized. Yeah, we can kill the sentry. Let's kill one of those first. Target down. And that's a solid shot, uh, chance to kill it as well. Almost. How about Dark Tarnoxus uh, takes his fortify, moves up, essentially making this here a full cover. What's over there? There's a crate right over here. This may or may not attract additional loss. Well, that was the wrong direction. Unless they leave us no choice, we should try to avoid damaging the crates if we want to bring home anything. Oh wow, we killed even a crate. Well, that was not so clever. So this year, is increasing the focus even further, and we'll come to you guys in a second. We simply need to come a little bit closer. Renman moves up and just reloads. Galen okay, Poe Overwatch. Okay. 
We got two additional crates marked for departure. Let's try to get at least one of them. This chosen here, um, this loss here, by the way, seems to be going for those guys and not for us, which is good. Fifty fifty. No hit. Gonna need to reload soon. Back in. Might as well holo target this guy. I would like to get one of these crates, maybe by positioning ourselves over here on the other side Okay, so we're looking at, actually we're looking at one more enemy. Plus a lost, of course. Let's get rid of the lost first. I just want to reduce latency and You also never know what the guy is up to. There's another crate right there. We could still try to stun him, if that would be successful, then we can get the other crate. Very low chance though. Yep, it's not, so we're going to parry, which means this crate here is lost. I think though... We do have one more crate uh, over here, and one more here, and one right next to us, so that's three. That's the last pick. Oh wow, we're being ambushed. Anyone else? Go 
So we could flank this guy. So chance of actually hitting him. Flamethrower will not do anything. However, a well-placed flashbang grenade would do a lot of things, so I'll keep that as an option. What does our sniper say? Let's start with the Viper. Fortunately a miss. Moving over here. I'll leave the teamwork open for now. It feels like we need to do a run and gun to here and punish the, vi uh, the snake or even to here, which is probably better. We are immune against poison, so I'm totally not afraid of, about, uh, of the poison spit. And this here might be a kill. Damaged but not killed. So what we could do is we could definitely throw a flashbang in as well, which means we have the option if we want to throw it from here or from Zirkim. I think this here is a way better angle uh, to maybe even kill the Grenadier. Yeah, we don't have a... We don't have a, a quick reloader, elsewise I would have just given over the action. Gotta reload. Alright, we're going to parry because the mutant is notoriously known to just try to uh, trying to one shot people. There we go, nice little disorientation. And there is the parry. Oh, nice. Another deflect. Next turn, the loss will reappear. Okay, we can't get that, but we can very much get that. 
99% chance. Come on. Yeah, we can kill the Viper from here, that's good. Reload. And let's take the shot. Double Alarium Core, that's 40 um, supplies right there. I think we're going to go with... Um, this here is going to be our next flashbang. Boom to here, killing this guy. Eventually fortify against the mutant and his melee attack. Nice, an outer loader end and hacking PCS. Okay, first things first, we're going to secure the crate. Marking the supplies, and then we can attack. Gosh, so much loot! Expanded magazine. We're parrying so that the mutant has a harder time hitting us, but we might as well just flashbang him. Oh wait, no, 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 those, the loss, oh. That's another grenade explosion and grenades trigger the lost. There we go. Should have thought about that beforehand. Okay, we still got three more ammunition and not all hope is lost. Let's just try to get those guys. Zirkim certainly will take some attacks because he's simply in the front. So I know of two more crates, one over here and basically one further down to the south.
But supposingly there are four more crates. I think we can get two realistically and then call it call it a day. We got a lot of loot and dozens upon dozens upon dozens of kills. Okay, luckily we used Fortify, which is such a good ability. Can't stress it enough. There is another crate up here, by the way. Let's get that. We're getting out of here soon. Marking the supply and we're attacking from here to get back into parry. Or we maybe even run away, I don't know. Reload. Three. Four. Five. And let's get the mutant. Hard target, minimal damage. I need ammo. Edgar moves up here. Marks yet another crate. On your order. And begins to move back. Let's holo target the mutant. He certainly seems to be difficult to hit. Moving at least into half cover. Marking the last crate. Okay, let's see what Zirkim can up uh, can come up with. With weapon proximity, he should have decent chances of actually hitting the mutant. He's also holo targeted. Seventy-eight percent. Yeah, let's kill the lost. I don't want to deal with them. Care of. Not even close. 
We're going to parry. Good, our evac is ready. Fortunately, the mutant refuses to die. That's the last of the supply crates in this area. Venice One Five, you're clear for evac. We got what we came for, so don't take any unnecessary chances out there. Dude, we're not taking any unnecessary go. chances out here. I don't know what you're thinking, Bradford. There you go. I got it, Ray. Let's get some more loot. A mutant probably has a lot. Elite auto loader and advanced laser side. That's pretty good loot. And we're running back to the Evex zone. Dark Tower Noxus moves here. All right, I'll go. Everyone moves towards. Everyone moves towards the exit. Move, move, move. Affirmative, coming cover. now. I can do that. All right, one. Rolling out. It just keeps on running. Gosh, frame rate drop. Too many losses that have died here. Affirmative. Covering now. One, two, three. Is it clear? And we'll get the rest next turn. Okay, so one pack of reinforcements will drop on us and we're just going to leave afterwards. Of course. One down, thousands to go. Multiple hostiles advancing on our position. A focus strike of power. There we go, that was the quickest way and most secure way to kill him. Let's get out of here, everyone. Location confirmed. This might even have been a flawless mission, I'm not sure. But I think no one took damage. Well, other than the little hits from the losts. But I think they don't count as 
as long as your as long as your ablative armor shield the, the yellow uh, one isn't uh, penetrated you're not taking damage Good. Overall, that was pretty okay. Yep, flawless. Killed 50 enemies and I think we ended up with 8 crates, if I'm not mistaken. So, considering the circumstances, pretty good. Nice. Three promotions. Our sniper finally became a sergeant. Let's um, let Heater be a lone wolf. Zirkim got a promotion to a sergeant and we're uh, going to give him center mass. More damage. Finally Mystic, so that includes uh, deeper focus, which means more damage, and we can reflect. Which, considering how often he already deflected, that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, three focus also means we deal plus one damage. And once his armor is upgraded, I think that also counts for his uh, melee attack. So we got 52 supplies, that's a lot. And look at all of the loot. We certainly had a good run. Alarium crystals, alien alloys, and a lot of loot. Plus two um, alarium cores, which are worth 20 each. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Maximum power I would want to go for a training center and I would want to upgrade the laboratory. So both of that is important for me. Four more days though. The one thing that I still would want to build though is... We do have armor. And let's at least build the Templar armor. I know it's expensive, but Templar, uh, the Templar's weapon depends upon his armor. Good, let's continue to scan. I'm really hoping for additional uh, missions. We have too many idle soldiers at the moment. Okay, so overall Strength rating in both of them, two. We're having vigilance rating slowly increasing in West Africa as well. And look at that. Um, this is the very first um, retaliation mission from, from their side. It's going to be tough. Protect the data tab is... A really really tough mission Setting course for East Africa. unfortunately if we're losing that this is also going to uh, this is also going to impact our um, resistance havens forces and we don't want to do that we can go in with quite a few people Got another sharpshooter here. Okay. 
So yeah, it's probably going to be a seven man mission. One, two, three, four, five, six, six man. Could go in with as many as eight, but we don't have that many people. We'll do that in the next run though. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to end the episode here so that we're back on the mission first and um, strategy layer second sort of rhythm. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, uh, leave a like and a comment down below. Thank you and have a great day.